Hey everyone, uh, <laughs> Mekasan here. Oh boy, we are. With a time like this, we're heading for like a climax. A little early. It's we're back with Ruby. It's a uh, volume eight, episode ten, called Ultimatum. As the fog of war covers the kingdom. Atlas nears its breaking point. <sighs> oh, as of uh, this recording, Murder of Birds has already uh, posted his premiere of that this episode reaction. And uh, <laughs> he quoted... Batman, specifically the Dark Knight, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And Ironwood's in a thumbnail here, so... Oh boy, yeah, it's like... I have... You guys know, I've gone on saying defending Ironwood to a point here of what he's doing... Sadly, it's one of those things where you gotta do what you gotta do. Stuff like that here. Of course, he's clearly breaking his... He, he's, the first sign that he was going way too far was when he killed Councilwoman Sl Slate. S was Sleet. Whatever. He killed him. And everything. It's like, oh boy. You know, if he falls and he... Need, I hope... I really do hope that... His successor is Winter, cause yeah, I think she's the best suited for, suited for the job here. Like, um, she doesn't want to do this, but she's doing this because it's her duty here. So she comes with a good compromise and stuff like that. Speaking of Winter and the Aesop and the Bomb, there's also what you gotta do. It's like okay, John and everyone, John and the gang got out here with Emerald in a uh, optimistic world. Emerald would go to the team. They would go to them with Emerald, and Emerald would tell them everything they need to know about the whale and everything. Maybe even help them with the bomb and with her semblance and such. But we don't live. But Remnant is not an optimistic world. It's a world of bloody evolution. So the odds are she's gonna hightail it out of there. Oh boy. So yeah, I'm I'm worried. We also ended in a cliffhanger there with. Oscar and Os Oscar has been here using some magic, and uh, Hazel said he's sacrificing himself because <laughs> it's not gonna stop for nothing because it's just delaying it. You can't kill Salem. Salem, the immortality is God given. You can't kill her. Oh boy, I'm I'm worried right now. There's also the thought situation with Neo taking the lamp. We know she did. And don't forget Watt and Cinder. Oh, and uh, Crow and Robin. Oh boy, I'm worried. I am legitimately worried. It's like dun 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 dun. Oh, boy, okay, I hope, okay, the item being picked up and everything, so... I still get up with the feel, well, yeah, Ironwood would go on a deep end here. In the end, it's got... It won't change the fact that he was right in a way here, sort of like what... I can't but think him like, uh, this is like Civil War and Avengers, you guys know that, where Ironwood's Tony Stark. And Ruby is Captain America. And in the end, when Thanos came in here and did that, it's like, yeah, T was right, Tony was right. And I think Ironwood's gonna, we know, yeah, Ironwood's gonna go on a deep end. I feel like in the end, he's gonna be, it's gonna be like, he tried what he can and he was kinda right. 
had a bunch again uh, uh, going on more serious topic here like behind the scene it's quite clear the writing has suffered somewhat because of just everything that's been going on here with the state of the world as it is so I mean they, they're trying their best that's for sure given the conditions but people say like volume 5 was slow I guess this is also like gonna be like volume 5 in a way me I'm I did, I did not mind volume 5 here but I'm really seeing the downside in this one sadly and it does feel like they're making Ironwood the villain just to make the heroes look well more heroic more cool more on the right side We have confirmation that Dr. Watts has escaped military headquarters to be assistant to Cinderfall. Oh! We do have Jacques Schnee in custody. I don't give a damn about Jacques Schnee. Yeah, exactly! What about the other two? Sir, Ronwin and Hill have evaded capture. But we are monitoring every exit, so they must still be inside the compound. We're moving you to another... Damn it! The door was also busted open. I did not. I, I, I did not see that. I, did, I didn't miss that. Do not return to These guys are scared. You have in custody. Of course, sir. Yeah, run, run. I like this. His door was busted open. Oh boy, yeah. Breathe. What's the sound? Breathe. What the hell? Did they do it? Wait, what the? <gasps> that you that was Oscar and Austin! Holy shit! <laughs> the Okay, what a fucking tease! No bomb required! Neo, look at taking the lab all hippity hoppity. Is everyone all right? No injuries here. What? Well, they were still inside. And Marrow, yeah, Marrow worried here the most. We, everyone thinks he's got the fact. I don't know, maybe at this point. But hey, it wasn't you guys! Something else only happened! That was, that was Oscar! Austin! Good work, but no time to celebrate. Return to the Academy at once. We've got a new problem. But that wasn't us. Then we can tell him in person. Load it back up. We're leaving. Yeah. Exactly. Tell him in person. Right now. Something's bad. Okay, so teaser was a, a, a bit of a fake out there. It's like, remember the. Tr but now it's like an ash cloud. Did, this. Did anyone respond? No. Well, she'll come back. Yeah. In the interim, we need a plan. Plan? The plan hasn't changed. I'm going to rip the maiden power out of Penny Falandina because you're going to bring her to me. I beg your pardon? You said in your message that you have control over Penny. I said I had Penny under control, not that I could telekinetically force her to do whatever I want. Yeah. What? I implanted a virus in her, you dimwit. She's on a set path now. At least she should be. As much as I hate to admit it, there seems to be some part of her capable of resisting. Regardless, it's only a matter of time before her mechanical body succumbs to the virus. She'll open the vault, then she'll destroy herself, and our little penny problem will be... Oh! What do you mean she'll destroy herself? Yeah! How am I supposed to take her power if she's dead? You know, it's impressive that you haven't realized this yet, but I don't work for you. Yeah! <laughs> Yo! -ho! can't just threaten me like everyone else. You think you're so clever, don't you, Arthur? Salem sent you to bring me back. Salem isn't here right now. 
And he, yeah, that's right. We can still come up with a plan while she's pulling herself together. First, I'm gonna watch you plummet to an unremarkable end. What? And then I'm gonna burn a path directly to the vault, where I will wait to tear that magical puppet to pieces. I, I'm guessing. What is mine? No, oh, boy, poor. I didn't say. I can't believe I'm saying this. Poor what? Oh wait, he's laughing. Although, wouldn't he survive the fall? Of course you are, because that's just what you do, isn't it? And how has that worked out for you? Ooh. You stormed into Freya's room, thinking you could take on Ironwood's top fighter and war machine, but you couldn't. And that machine became the Winter Maiden. Oh, and let's not forget your deal with Raven Brownwind. Oh, oh, oh. Your enemies in one place, so you'd have a shot at revenge. If only someone could have warned you against such a miserable idea. Oh wait, I did. Oh, but you pushed ahead and you lost it when all you had to do was your job. You think you're entitled to everything just because you suffered, but suffering isn't enough. Can't just be strong. You have to be smart. Can't just be deserving. Wow. You have to be worthy. Yeah. All you have ever been is a bloody migraine. In a bloody mo. Wow. Wow. What? But yeah, tell her straight. Damn. I got a. <laughs> What's giving Fender a reality fucking check? Oh, wow, and looks like she re she's really broken. She's really broken by that. Blake? Yang, are you okay? Where are you? <sighs> yeah, we're fine. Is everyone there all right? We're all Oscar? Right. This'll help How are you? Emerald. Okay. Yeah. Hazel. Hazel. Yeah. I'm giving you a map. You're in the agricultural area. Just head to this access point to reach the Red Line subway tunnel. Then follow the route I've drawn for you. Got the subway tunnels. I'll see you soon. You can't be serious. You want us to work with her? I'm just saying it makes the most sense. We're all enemies of Salem, including her. No, I'm with Blondie. You don't like me, I don't like you. So how about we just part ways and you never have to see me again? You're not going anywhere. Not after everything you've done. Yeah. I can't let all of our actions stem from fear. If she could help us, I think we should consider it. Fear? Is part of the reason I have this. Yeah. I'm not going to just forgive her. Yeah, it isn't about fear. Everything that happened at Beacon. She lied to us, tricked us. She is dangerous. You don't have to forgive her. You have every reason to feel that way. Just maybe give her a second chance. I've right. already gotten quite a bit of help today from someone we don't exactly trust right now. Yeah, that's you true. Mean I had a feeling. Wait, Oz what? Is back? I know how you feel, but he saved my life. And when we were tortured, he took it. So I wouldn't have to. Okay, and uh, I, like, I like to say that this cut to the uh, subway, but it's okay. I mean, by now it would have been a clear path. And the massive amount of power he had stored up in it. The massive the amount of power. Energy that he spent lifetime after lifetime accumulating in the oh. king he built. So that's what it was. That's how you did that? Using all of the stored up power. Exactly. Oh, but most. Oh, we have to be careful. Bit of a glare right in the background, but yeah. So that would have. That's an important thing. Like, damn! I want to reciprocate that trust. <laughs> not to sort out. But Oz really wants to help. Storing bit by bit, just ever growing. Wow, Thank and you. then just released it. <clears throat> yeah, and I, tr I trust Dawson. And as a baby! Because, yeah, the subway is where everyone retreated to. My God! All of Atlas is down here. Mm-hmm. It's like Atlas has become like London after like the bombing raid and everything. 
Oh yeah, they are going for that. I've seen what you can do, Emerald. However this fight ends, we could really use someone like you. <clears throat> okay. It's about time. Sir. While we dealt a decisive blow to Salem today... Actually, that wasn't our payload, sir. I brought it back with us. Then who could have... Yeah. Okay, that, yeah, third person... Have it. Yeah, he still have it. This may be useful. Penny still hasn't come to the vault, meaning Watts was either incompetent or he betrayed us. At this point... No, what do you think? Cinder Falls attack command and escape with him. And that's not all we've lost. Sir? Crow and Robin have also escaped. Oh! Oh boy, Harriet! The creature was destroyed. But that doesn't mean we've stopped her. She will return, and she will throw everything she has at us until there is nothing left. And we are perilously close to that already. I need the Winter Maiden now it's oh, the only here they coming can survive he's becoming more and more disheveled and terrified look at that let the just the emotion Please. in his face at that moment bring me arc rand and shalom what for sir i had crow in my hands and i didn't do what needed to be done i will not make that mistake again i know i'm ashamed i didn't think of it earlier Whoa! Leveraging the lives of her friends? It's the only way to make Penny listen to reason. Sir, I'm sorry, but we don't have them. Operative Schnee let them go. Uh oh. You. What? Winter allowed them to go on board the creature to rescue their friend. And they never came back. Uh oh. Oh boy. They were our last chance. Oh uh, boy. Now I have nothing. Oh, oh boy. I saw that coming a mile away, but still. Sir, we are detecting non military ships on radar. Dozens of them. Ships? Who ships? They appear to be Schnee Dust Company freighters, sir. They're heading straight for Mantle. Yeah. Weiss. Weiss. Let's see. They're trying to save Mantle. <laughs> this has always been about Mantle, hasn't it? <laughs> I need to make a call. Okay. Need to make a call? I uh, okay. Uh oh, huh? Your bard won't stay there, but you will without the. Oh my! Woohoo! Who is it? Does someone <laughs> survive? If you want her name, you know what you owe me. Ah! Oh, music! Ah! But Neo, cause yeah, yeah, does that make sense? Of course. After a, after how Sender treated her, like just throw her wayside. She doesn't care about this. She just wants Ruby. I gotta get a kiss. Oh my God! Yes, do it. Oh my God! Blushing kiss. Oh, that was so good. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oscar, you. No, she's okay. I can... Kids, the cargo ship she sent just made it, but they're not alone. May? What are you May? About? What? Oh my God. Run! Everyone into the mine! No way! Oh, Ironwood, you're mm -hmm. not! Please. 
emergency CCT broadcast. Oh. What's going on? Those mm. ships, they were going to save people. Why would... Oh, well, I... I always promised to defend this kingdom. It's technology. It's future. Oh, God. From those who would see it destroyed. Our enemy is crippled, but one individual still denies Atlas its salvation. The protector of Mantle. Penny, wherever you and your friends are, I need you all to listen. <sighs> you just throw it away. To you, so I'm going to give you a choice. You can bring yourself to Atlas Academy and do your duty. Help me save as much of Atlas as I can, and Mantle will be left to fend for itself. Wow! Or you can all watch as I destroy it. Just that said. I have one bomb. That's all it will take. If there is no mantle, then there is no reason for you not to work with me. Neither of us wanted to come to that. But one of us is willing to do it. If anyone tries anything. My god! They are really the game back! The god. <laughs> That's it! You have one hour to respond. That's it! That's it, irredeemable! I he hope is you live up to the title I gave you. That's it! That's it! No redemption! Hmm. All those damn coloss my paladin mechs. I can't believe you. I can't believe Rooster Teeth did this, like. So how long will it, will it take Salem to re, re uh, form herself after that? The longest she's been gone is a few hours, so a quarter, at least from when Hazel, as far as Hazel knows. All the people here, they were clearly going for like the London raids, the raids in London and stuff like that here. Oh boy, but. Yeah, what that did was a shock. That explosion right there, it's like, what? It's the trailer scene, we all thought it was gonna bomb, but no. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Oh, fake out there, but. <clears throat> So, all this time, that's what that's what that's what the uh, staff his uh, cane was so important. He essentially oh, turned that into a powerful bomb, energy, or at least I, I don't know. It looked like an energy energy weapon, like a massive ed, ed, a beam discharge, and it was just so much that wow, that was a shock and. Then we have this here where, oh yeah, this, this scene, this is a freaking highlight right now. It's like, what just giving Salem a freaking verbal, Salem, why'd I say that? It's like, what giving Cinder a verbal beatdown? I can, I can do this all day. Look at that. That's just what you do, isn't it? And how has that worked out for you? Although I'm curious, would he would he survive that fall here with Aura, or would be would that be too much? You stormed into Freya's room, thinking you could take on Ironwood's top fighter and war machine. Yep. But you couldn't. Yeah. And that machine became the Winter Maiden. Oh, and let's not forget your deal with Raven Brownwind. Oh, oh yeah. All your enemies in one place, so you'd have a shot at revenge. If <laughs> only someone could have warned you against such a miserable idea. Oh wait, I did. Oh boy. But you pushed ahead, and you lost it when all you had to do was your job. 
think you're entitled to everything just because you suffered, but suffering isn't enough. You can't just be strong, you have to be smart. You can't just be deserving, you have to be worthy. But all you have ever been is a bloody migraine. It's a bloody wolf. Wow. And yeah, it's like. She knows everything he said was tr was true. Cause look at it, it's like she's right. <laughs> he was right on the money. Look at her, like just Cinder, just going there. I have never seen Cinder like make this face, like she's gonna cry. Her look, at, I can see the 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 water in her eye building up. I think, I think she is crying actually. Uh, yeah. I guess, yeah, even, like, Beacon Academy here, their success, it all s technically stemmed, well, I'm sure she had a bit of part to play in it, actually, but mu much of it stemmed from, what, Salem, with the help of, obviously, Watts there and everything, it's like, oh, boy, and then we got, of course, we got, we got, em we got uh, Emerald in the side here, where she's like, she just wants to leave, but they're not letting her go, it's like, she, she's a criminal, she does need to pay for her crimes. No, and that and she and she's gone and done a lot of crime even before uh, joining up with Cinder and being part of Salem. And meanwhile, we've got this scene right here, which wow, it's like I've I currently watched like the World World War Two in color and the Great Events of World War Two in color as well on Netflix. So I look at this and like wow, this is like the London. Like when the London Blitz or the bombing air raid bombings were happening in London at the time between yeah in the First and Second World War. And then there's this here, which all right, you got the bomb still got a plan here. We get, uh, he already like clearly he was going this evil, but then. Yeah, like, he, the way he was walking around here, like, you could see his eyes. He was slowly losing it. Like, he was getting, he's getting more and more desperate. And one thing, I, one small thing I did, I did, like, of course, here was uh, Harriet's. Reaction here once he learned when she heard what happened to Paul's attack command has escaped us. That's not our weakness. Chris? Joel and Robin were right. Yeah. yeah. Harriet is very she she is furious over Clover. And people would say, well, okay, she's, she's kind of pointing her anger the wrong direction. Not entirely. Again, yes, while the while we know that Crow did not Crow Robin did not really kill. Did not have did not kill um Clover, it was Tyrion, they still had a hand in it! They still they're they're technically accomplices. They, they aided in the murder of Crow. Of, of Clover. So she has every right to be mad as, at them as well. And then like, oh boy, like the trust in Winter Schnee is now destroyed here. But when he, oh God, this is like Winter's scared, like the shame that almost can't make eye contact. But the fact that, oh, she was actually going to use Yang and John and Ren as a leverage. Desperation, I get that, but wow. I've said before, like, okay, he does not care how the history books will remember him. They can remember him as the evil bad guy, or the guy who fell from grace, whatever, the villain, as long as, you know, Atlas survives. And they're going all the way here to the point where it's kind of, it's like, you're really making him evil. It's like, you, and now the Schnee Dust Company and everything, it's like, you see the SDC and... It's always been about protecting Mantle. They're trying to save Mantle. <laughs> this has always been about Mantle, hasn't it? <laughs> I need to make a call. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. This has always been about Mantle. And he's trying to say, he's trying to say Atlas. It's like one or the other. I, that's, at this point, you, you can't say it's his semblance making him so far hyper focused to the point of tunnel vision just going and like making him like feel no emotion or remorse of his actions. But no, no. This is like ridiculous. Oh, and then there's this scene right here, which we saw. Ne we saw like Neo, f like, like uh, skip away with a lamp. Your boss won't stay dead, but you will without this. Like wink. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense because Neo does not care about this. It's her goal has always been the same. She wants revenge on Ruby for what happened to Roman Torchwick. Period. And Cinder... Cinder throw, threw her over the bus here. Like, she she took credit for what Neo did in securing the lamp and everything. It... She put it upon herself. If you want her name, you know what you owe me. Yeah, so basically, hey, you want the lamp and the, and the password? Give me Ruby. Give me little Red right here. Let me have my revenge. Meanwhile, we got the brand new song here. That's a cute song. Very nice. The crying and everything. Aww. And then we got this thing. like Bumblebee. Like big time. Look at them. They're both blushing and everything. And... Oh, come on. Okay. Connecting, f okay, kissing the f kissing forehead like that here. Cute. Now actually kiss. <laughs> oh brother. And yeah, it's breaking the rule, breaking the news to him. Now there's Emerald. Okay, th there's uh, Fiona's uncle right there. Well, I wanted to know what's going on in the crater, and uh, I learned the current events. What are you? I, oh my! Look at that with the light and everything. It's like, what's he going for here? What's this supposed to do? But just bombing. All like, oh god, no, no. I mean, I'm sorry. Announcement from General Ironwood. He's just destroying the ships. Why? Now, this is at this point, this is just being petty. There's, there's, there's no excuse anymore. It's like, Ironwood, I was backing you up, but my god, the writer's really trying to make this guy a vi the evil villain. Of the story right here. Like, the hero who fell from grace, and he really fell from grace here. And it's pissing me off! It's like, no, wh why go to this extreme? I get it. He's rule, he's scared, he's run by fear, and, and now at this point I think, okay... Yeah, even his own people are afraid of him now. At this point, yeah, it might be good for a Clover to kill him. But, yeah, this one, Atlas, Mantle, the whole of Solitas, it may as well be written off. Also, it's daytime right now, right? So, what, it's been like, what, 24? Let's see, the message came out on the middle of the night. It's, has it been 12 hours or more than a I'm trying, yeah, because it was di it's been difficult to tell uh, time exactly, especially when those uh, giant jellyfish grim came overhead in the cloud they created. But let's see, the message got out. 
when Yang and John and Nora were captured by the Aesop, it was dawn, Praka dawn. Aptos was breached at that. Death when Aptos was breached. Landing was made, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to tell. Because the battlefield was in a pitch black here, but it's hard to tell whether that was because of it was actually nighttime or the dark or the cloud cover caused by the Grim. I don't know. I think, I, but yeah, I, I think it only been like maybe about 12 hours or so. And I'm still waiting for a community for like Argus to come in at, at, at least. Because he's using leverage. It's like, okay, I can't use these people, so I'll use the people of Mantle. So he's really making it. It's either the people of Mantle will die. It's like, if I can't win, no one wins. That's what this is. That's what this is. And what? Oh, God, this is just. Wow, there's a, what a beam. So, yeah, let lose a lot of energy from there. It's like. I am really disappointed. Uh, more with the writing here. It's like... Now I think you really gotta put down Ironwood. I hate to say this, but Rooster Teeth put me in level! But he just... Destroying the Schnee Dust Company ships was... The, that's... The, Killing, like, you you went from simple killing a councilman, and now you Well, I, I guess it's also fueled by the fact that he just learned that, uh, Winner released John, R Ren, and Nora. Uh, uh, John, Ren, and Yang, obviously, so he's fueled by He's more angry. He's lost everything. He feels like he's got nothing. He's more scared now than ever. Now, here we are. This sucks. This sucks. I I knew that Monty wanted this to get dark, but I don't know. I think it's getting too dark too fast here, and it's and it's going and it's getting and it's gone to the point where it is sacrificing character integrity and writing. In my opinion, here where Ironwood should not have this one should not have happened to Ironwood. I mean, if anything, I would have liked it if Ironwood teaches these kids a lesson of how yeah, the world's not so black and white here. And we we're in a war. You gotta make choices that will real will give you nightmare. You gotta compromise. Winter was pretty much emphasized that point here when especially when she talked to Marrow about that here. It's like what she was willing to do. For for the good of the of all of Atlas and the people. It's like <sighs> Yeah. After all of this, if there is some sort of miracle No. No, and meanwhile, we've got Penny there, who has a virus, yes. As Watts said, she's got, he made it so she has a set path to open the vault and terminate. Something Cinder's pissed off about here because she wants the powers. And just, again, I highlight of the show here was a verbal, verbal beatdown that Watts gave Cinder here. Something she, even she, like, like, without saying it, just in her face and everything, her movement, just fully admit that he's right. Everything he said was right on the money. Oh, boy. So, I got nothing else to say here, everyone. Just that I, I'm... Oh. I knew this... Sh I knew this uh, volume was gonna suffer the worst in terms of writing because of the pandemic. 
And yeah. So everyone, tell me what you all think about this. One thing for sure though, Ironwood is, they're still pulling him back. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. I was giving him because I understand what sometimes in war, they got to do things like we, that's just reality situation here. You got to make sacrifices, sacrifice a few thousand to save millions, if not billions. But now he's literally just leaving those, just throwing those away here, not making it so, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, no alternatives here. It's like, it's like what he's doing. No, it just, I can't. I, I can't. I just can't. So subscribe for more, everyone. Like this video as well to get it, you know, picked up by the algorithm. It really does help. And comment down below what you all thought. I mean, you think this was kind of inevitable, or do you think just the writing is literally forcing this to happen just so the just so the heroes look good, look the look better? Cause yeah, at this point, I think I'm more with Emerald there, in which I rather just hightail it out of there. It's like Ironwood is off deep end here, but at the same time, yeah, these kids. They don't have what it takes to win a war. <sighs> so, until then, this is Mekasan. Logging out.